and the one time just happened to be mm. in the World Cup oh, no. semi-final and it loops even if it had gone to the striker the striker couldn't have hit it so well it yeah. just in a freak how are you spoken to her how is she doing um yeah i've texted her i've spoken via via messaging um obviously with time difference mm. in canada um she's she's getting there she's getting there she's she's devastated but um she's got a good team of people around her and she's got so many messages of support um and it's just if you Obviously, from, from a fan's point of view, you look at it, but if you know the person and you know the struggles that she's been through and, you know, she's had ups and downs in terms of her career and her footballing career and, and with England, and she just, you know, she's got a settled position. She looked... Her tournament was brilliant, you know. Obviously, the France game where she got the whack in the eye, she was mm -hmm. a bit of a soldier, and, um, you know, the tournament's been brilliant. And then for that to happen, it was it was devastating, but, you know, she's such a strong character, such a strong leader, she'll, she'll definitely bounce back. Some great messages of support. I mean, all for some of the, the trolling that we've seen and that stuff. But great you don't need to support. listen to that, though. That's all nonsense. From, it's all nonsense yeah. from bitter, silly people. Anyway, Gary Lineker, there's a man that you can listen to. What a dreadful way to lose. Poor Paul Laura Bassett. Rio Ferdinand had nice comments. I thought, hold your head high. These moments will help shape you for future success. It's hard now, but it's how you react. And I guess that's what today is about, exactly. seeing a come out. And that's, and that's the kind of person that she is. And I thought that was a great message from Rio Ferdinand, to yeah. be honest, because that's, that's, you know, that's someone that's been there and done mm. that and felt mm. that before. That show, shows the experience that he's had. And I think that, you know, Laura already inspires other people and players that are around her, definitely teammates like myself, but young children. She's been into schools working with me before. And, yes. and undoubtedly, people that hadn't really paid attention to women's football are now paying mm. attention to women's definitely. football. Definitely. And we've been saying this for years, what we needed to do was get the international team on the stage and, and getting to semi-finals and finals. Unfortunately, didn't make it to the final, but hopefully, you know, with the third and fourth place playoff, we're, we can they can do us proud again. Can we beat the Germans? I think we can. The way the team's playing, they've grown through the tournament. Started off a little bit shaky, but got better as it's gone on. So fingers crossed. They'll want to avenge it as well, won't really? they? The cruelest Come of on. defeats. Rachel, lovely to see. You. Thanks for Thank coming you in very this much. morning. And still doing better than the boys. Well, yes, yes. Let's not talk about the boys. I just leave it there, out there. I'm here today to surprise a very special little boy called Archie. He appeared on Good Morning Britain recently and my mum told me I must come see him. Well, I think I'm in the right place. I think he likes Arsenal more than I do. <laughs>